Hey, praise the Lord. Greetings, everybody. My name is Clinton. This is the Word Prophet Channel. I'm glad you're here. I want to talk to you about something real quick, something that's very important and also universal. It's something that everybody knows. Yes, it's something that literally everybody on the entire planet knows, except, of course, people that have lost their minds and they're mentally ill and they should be in a mental hospital. But other than that, everybody knows about what I'm going to share with you here, and that is this. That is this. Everybody who's ever been to a public venue and used the restroom has seen this sign. You've seen this sign before. You've seen it. You know what this is. This is a sign that tells us the difference between the men's room and the women's room so that if we need to use the bathroom, we know which one to use. Because there's a difference between a man and a woman. You see, what is a woman? Well, there's some people that shouldn't really be walking around in free society who don't seem to know what a woman is. But I'll tell you what a woman is. It's very simple. A woman is a human female. That's what a woman is. And a man is a human male. That's what a man is. So this is a figure that represents a woman. This is a universally understood image that represents a woman. So even if you can't read these words, men and women, these figures are here to show you, even if you can't read, which restroom to use. This is a woman, so the sign, the, 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 the restroom that has this sign is a woman's room for women's, for, pardon me, it's a women's room for women to use. And this is a man. And if you see this sign, you know that it's a men's room. And so this is where men go in to use the restroom. This is universally known, whether you can read or not. You see? So the Bible says that men and women that wear each other's clothes are an abomination to God. So if you have a woman who is wearing men's clothes, then what do you call that woman? You call her a transvestite, because that's what she is. She's wearing clothes that pertain to the opposite sex. And if you see a man that is wearing a dress, what do you call that man? You call him a transvestite, because that's what he is. He's a man wearing woman's clothing. So men that wear women's clothing, or women that wear men's clothing, are transvestites. And transvestites are an abomination to God and to God's people. The Bible says this. And the Bible also says that the abominable shall have their part in the lake which burneth with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. You see, whether or not you agree with these universally known facts, and whether or not you agree with the law of the Almighty God, is irrelevant, because it still is what it is. So the only thing that's relevant is whether you're going to obey God and enter into his kingdom, or whether you're going to disobey him and enter into the lake of fire forever. He that hath an ear to hear, let him hear. Amen.